Hello! Hopefully this time things won't fuck up. Because for the past few times we've actually tried to record this and it's not worked. I am Angel Phoenix. I am Rehan Prime. And we are doing reaction videos to some of Markiplier's LPs. Um, this is the first episode and we are going to be watching the episode Fingerbones. Let's just hope we don't shit ourselves. Because <laughs> I am a wuss. Okay. Buffering. Get off your tablet. Kindle. Tablet Kindle, same day. Really? Quick! I'm using the book! You're trying to help me! Help me produce good of blood! I'll have the rule! Piss off. Hello everybody, my name is Markiplier and welcome to Let's Play Finger Bones! Now this is a game that a lot of people have been asking me to play, and I don't know a lot other than I that, that I've played it already. So, it's my weekend to get Katie, but I'm not really in the mood. I distracted her with the TV and came in to read. I couldn't interest myself in reading, so I tried to write. I couldn't write any more than the usual handful of dictionary thoughts and theories. Medication didn't help, and divorce certainly didn't help either. Oh, that's depressing. Because I am not depressed, I am enlightened. This is the result of two, two decades of scientific education and philosophical pondering. This is the price of knowledge. Well, it's good that we got our existentialism out of the way and lots of use of big words. So, what else lots of use of big do? words. Most this people won't understand except for me. about an hour or two to set aside for the playthrough of it. But I appear to be trapped in a single room, so I do not know if over the period of about an hour or two there's going to be a lot of strange things happening. If that is the case, then I guess I'm going to be playing for a while until something happens. something in here for me to do. Ah, here we go. I don't know why I'd use my stepdaughter's name as a door lock code in my survival bunker, but whatever keeps her happy, I suppose. She's like her mother, a delicate, fragile version of her mother. Damn her. Whoa, dude. Whoa there, buddy. Someone has okay, daddy so issues. the door code to your sacred bunker is the name of your daughter, which was like Katie or something like that. That's my audio tickling, by the way. K-A-T-I-E-Y. Katie. So, so, what about that? Ooh, wait a minute. Is that a keyboard? It appears to be a page from a manuscript. Thought morality is too reliant on emotions and not reliant on enough rational thought. If morality must be determined, and I maintain that it is a farce, it should not be determined by feeling. Feelings are nebulous, subjective, and changeable. Rather, it should be determined by thinking. The actions of a natural creature are natural and thus moral, unless a concrete scientific reason can be given to prove that them is immoral. I heard immoral is so, this seems to be a rather <laughs> okay. interesting game filled with intricacies. I shall do my best to try to not treat it like a pile of poopy. So, this appears to be a keyboard, but. No, 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 no. Uh uh. That ain't gonna be it. Ah, oh, when I was 15 year olds, I lost my virginity. I shook uncontrollably the entire time. I felt that same primal excitement yesterday night in the cellar. Okay. okay. Good for you. Ah, here we go. This is That's cool. Hello, Katie. Are you gonna let me put in Katie? Oh, okay. I turned on some sort of a generator. I didn't notice these things before because they were like absolute pitch blackness in the darkness. Ooh, here we go. I powered up the keyboard. Now I can actually put in the key code of Katie. K A T I. Capital K. No! Ah! Why is it working? Oh, I get it. That was the confirmation noise that it actually did work. So. <laughs> This door should open, right? Hey, it did! I did it! I, I was did expecting it. a joke. Okay, scan. now we're getting somewhere. <laughs> Let's get ready to shoot this tunnel that I built a million times over. What do we have here? 
It's finally happened. The world, the whole world is a chaos of thunder and screams. And when the asses settle, we will all be wild animals again. I'm ecstatic beyond words. I haven't been able to reach Lynn for several days, and she's probably dead for all I know or care. But Katie was here when it started, and I have no idea what to do with her. Most of the town is dead. Katie and I only survived because we ran to the bunker. Perhaps this is just what I've needed. Freedom from all the irrational rules and inane social values. Just pure, beautiful survival. This guy seems kind of self-absorbed, if I have to say so. He's in his own little world here. Oh, I'm sorry. The tool room has been her name for years now, and I can't bring myself to change it. Years? I boxed up everything that isn't practical and useful. I burned all the books that weren't for scientific education. I'd like to store the boxes in the cellar, but I can't get them down the ladder by myself. I just piled them up near the hatch. The blood would probably ruin them. Then. Okay, okay. This is going great. I can already tell that this guy is totally sane. I'm not going to be... It's going to be super bad. Uh, well, now that I've explored the depths of my own madness, <laughs> perhaps it is time to do something productive. Like backtrack. That's always good. I, I got just a bad feeling about this. So is there some symbolic meaning of, you know, Leaving out the exit that you can leave any time, but you don't want to because then the game's over and the story is over, and then there's nothing else to tell. Is that what I'm supposed to detract from all of this? Or, I don't think I used to track properly, but I'm just trying to make my words as big as this guy's. I'm a bit of a thing. I need to be comparably bigger. Shut up. What does this happen? It just went rouge. Maybe I gotta go back upstairs and type in another code? Okay, that did a boop. Is that boop important? Was that, that the same boop as boop before? No, that's the exit door. Have... It's to leave the game. Buffering! Hi. Notice his wife Lynn and his daughter Katie. So does that mean that now I will be able to move into the tool? Hey, it worked! I can't believe that actually worked. Oh, it is dark in here. Hey, shut up there, you a-hole. Yeah, it took a bit to get here. She remembered Father's Day and drew me a picture. I don't understand her. She's just like her mother. She wants to waste time drawing pictures and we're barely able to find enough food to survive. I turned her crayon to the candles. We need more candles in case the generator goes out again. And it helps break up the monotony. I yearn for the excitement of those first weeks. The excitement of nuclear war? There are things I've wanted to do for years. Desires I've kept locked in the back of my subconscious. It's been nearly a year since I've seen a woman, and now I realize there's no practical reason to keep those desires locked. Okay, that just sounds so disturbing. I got a bad feeling. I changed the storage room code to something I can easily remember. N N Y. The rest of the word is missing. Why? <laughs> that's not a word. That's ninny. Ninny, <laughs> ninny, ninny, ninny. No, ninny has an eye. How is that easy to remember? N N Y. The rest of the word is missing. Maybe that's like a code, you know. N N Y missing. <laughs> oh. I just got a bad feeling about all this. You shut your mouth. You show your dirty rotten mouth. I got it, I got it, I got it. N N Y L, cause Lynn backwards would be denial. This guy had some serious hang-ups about his family that I don't appreciate at all. <laughs> oh. I can't move! I gotta move. Did it freeze? Oh no, please, no, 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 no. <laughs> I think I got it in order. It didn't freeze. It just stayed still for a second. All right. 
I am a bag of DNA. Yes, you are. I exist to make more of myself. I married and produced a daughter because my genes demand reproduction. I wrote books and created because creativity served a survival advantage to my ancient ape ancestors. I built this space, took refuge in it, and spent hours thinking up silly little artificial laws to live by because my forefathers built cities and societies to allow time and peace to reproduce and to protect their genes, dreams, loves, opinions, desires, beauty, innocence, figments of our collective primordial imagination. Fleeting electrical signals are fire and draws our synapses for a pointless moment in time. They used to serve a purpose, and now they are needless confusion. And here I am, the last man on earth, for all I know, ready to be free from them. Also ready to become a psycho crazy person. Not if okay. I, I hope that I'm... I hope to get back. I don't hope that I'm you. I just hope that I, you know, don't find you here. Mm. <laughs> I hope that I don't find out that you're... Oh, hello. Button. That button. I hope that I don't find you there with a knife standing in the basement naked ready to charge. That would not be agreeable. Spartan. I'm not be a, I'm not down to clown with that idea. So what did the button do? So what did I do? <laughs> what did the button do? Show me a markiplier related some help. Back upstairs again. That little indentation on the wall seems to be sending me back and forth quite a bit in this game. Well, I ain't having it. Ah, is that a thing? I think I see a thing. Come back. This indentation got bigger. Aha, here we go. The cellar is freedom. The celery? The cellar. Are those oh. finger bones? I think them be some finger bones. Okie dokie. So maybe the code is either freedom or finger bones. Finger. Finger. Okay, that was the confirmation beep, so I'm assuming that was good. Okay, I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. This guy is psycho crazy bug. He's gonna stab me in my butt and I'm not gonna be happy <laughs> Okay, that isn't okay. creepy. <laughs> okay. Sweet. Sweetie, something he's just got rid of. food for one, so she's gonna die anyway. But I'm free now. Freedom. It took the end of all humanity to find freedom. Holy crap! <laughs> this guy is insane. I don't think he just killed his guy. Kid. Am I insane? No, oh, I do not like this. Oh, it seems to have been torn from a diary. She finally died last night. I don't know whether from starvation, dehydration, or blood loss, I threw her body into the woods. Her fingers, my anti-religious artifacts, my testaments to moral intellectual freedom are locked in the same upstairs. I am contented that all this, I haven't done anything wrong! What the fuck? Oh, my God. The father didn't know why he'd come back after all these years, starving and tired. He just wanted to see the cellar the one last time, with one last thing, the liquor. The flashlight died and he was left in pitch dark. He's out of the cold, cold the light! He can still hear her now! Okay. Ah! <laughs> oh, what the fuck? That is the end! What the hell? What the- what? What the hell? That was the end! That was the end! Why? That was finger bones, everybody. I, I'm just- I'm, I'm trying to wrap my head around what the hell just happened. Because honestly, I have no idea. I don't know what happened. It's all darkness inside my soul. <laughs> okay, anyway. So that was Finger Bones, everybody. Hope you enjoyed it. That was a creepy tale. That was like one of the tales you tell around a camp story to a bunch of little campers as you want them to have nightmares for the rest of their life. It's <laughs> totally creepy. And actually, it's one of those games that really emphasizes the atmosphere of it and the, the situation besides it. Because I didn't know if I was someone coming into that bunker or if I was actually the guy. And I was very worried that the guy would be there. And just like this interesting tale into the mind of an insane man. Or maybe he was the actually insane one. And we're all crazy for putting up the moral rules behind us. By the way, it was really cool, so thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, let me know in the comments below. If you want to see more horror games, I know that people have been asking for it. Please suggest me good ones. People have been saying that I've quit playing horror games. That is not the case. I'm just very, very, very eager to find 
good ones. And I don't, I don't want to keep putting out videos where I'm like, yeah, this well, that wasn't as scary as I expected it to be. No, but it was scarier as well, thanks to you, Markiplier. Yeah. I really kicked my cat in the face. I'm sorry, boy. I'm sorry for that thing.